everyone, CCR Guy 2012 here with a Christmas special. Now today I'm going to be doing a setup to tour and a review of something I got for Christmas. Because um, Christmas has all been gone and it's now Boxing Day. Well it is when I record the video. No idea what day it will be by the time it gets online. Right, this is the item here. This is the NC Power Cab. Um, it's a new, it's a DCC controller, it's completely self-contained. So I used to have the Select. Um, some of you may know, but I've decided to get rid of that um, because I just it just doesn't work properly with my engine. So my engines reject it; they just ignore it completely. Either I tell them to stop and they don't, or I tell them to go and they don't. You guys don't really work. It's function control, which is not much good. So I can have a local sitting there, lights on and off, on and off, but it won't go anywhere, which is not much point. Even if you can't do that, the accessory decoders have own problems with those as well. They're not responding properly. Some just flat out ignore you. Some of them don't listen properly. They completely ignore the instructions. I've had it touch at so one set of points. It's changed another. All manner of problems. And I've decided I'm going to upgrade now to the NCE power cap. Well, I asked for it to Christmas. Really hoped I was going to get it. I did actually get it now. So anyway, I'll be back in a minute. And I'll just open the box up and show you what's inside. Well, when I'm back, well, I've taken the box out of its sleeve, just a little cardboard sleeve here, just got some really basic information off anyway. We don't need that at the moment, so that's on one side. Now, here we have the box. Um, one thing to point out, if you do actually, if you get this brand new from the shop, and the shop says it's new, and this seal is broken, um, you might have a bit of a problem. If you check and it all works, it's fine, but you might want to tell the shop you bought it from, because... The, you're not meant to open that seal until the customer's got it. If they've opened it before you and it's damaged, it's a bit of a problem. So if it's meant to be, well, if the seal's not broken, don't worry about it. You just need to run a knife down there to open it. And there's also one on the front, just there. Um, so now, just pull these just little tabs out of the front. And then, it's a bit of a stiff, the box. Tight fit, which at least shows it's not going to fly open. I'll just open the box up. Here we go. Now, you know what we got here? We got the power cap. Um, this is the connecting lead from the power cap. And this connects from here to a special panel that you have to fit to the board, which is usually here. Now, it's not here at the moment because I've actually I've taken this out and I've tested it, and I've, the board is the panel is currently actually screwed to the board. I just move the camera around. That's it there. Just screw to the board, just put one screw in each corner. Um, right, that's it. And that is what you, you you connect, you plug one end of this lead into the power cap, one end to the panel, and I'll show the rest of the connection there. There's also meant to be a track connecting clip just here. That's also not there because it's currently connected in. I'll show you where that is now you connect it up in a minute. Um, so we've got the power supply. Now one thing that worried me, which um, Thing is this because this product is American, you have a transformer with American connectors on it. Now, if you live in America, that's fine, it's not a problem. But if you live in the UK, we don't have this sort of thing, we've got three pin plugs. So, one thing I did, one thing it's nice to know this transformer is universal, it can go anywhere. It operates, um, probably can't see that, but it says on there dot input 100 volts to 240 volts. Which means you all you can plug it in in America, it'll work. You can plug it in the UK, it'll work. Europe, wherever you are, it will work as long as the voltage is between 100 and 240. Um, but anyway, still, how do you plug it in? Well, the shop I bought it from, Digitrains in Lincoln, when I, when it was bought, or when my dad bought it, um, they handed him this, which is just a power adapter. It's like um, it's just like a shaver adapter, and they can use this because. It's low amp, it doesn't actually draw much current, even though it does just say shaver only on it, but it's not a problem, it does actually still work. You've just got a sweep in there, and you just slot it in, it just plugs in, like that. You just push it in, clicks in, sorted, job done. Job's good. And moving on to the main feature, which is this here, which is the power cab. This is the heart of the system. Without this, the layout won't work. This is essentially the entire controller in your hand. Which means it has to be plugged into the layout at all times. If you unplug it, all the trap power dies, all the locos stop moving. 
it just nothing works without it plugged in which is a little bit of a pain but it's not too bad you got the standing I'll go to all these buttons in a minute but anyway so you in the box and the last thing you actually get in the box I forgot about this is the instruction manual which is in the bottom um, let's push that down push that out of the way this is it here it's got system reference manual it says but it's a, it's a instruction manual from there you've got a um, registration card you don't have to fill that out um, all it does is, is it means they'll email you with um, if they update a product bring out a new product it's just it's a useful thing to fill in and send off um, but if you don't want them emailing you it's fine you don't have to fill it in it doesn't matter but you've just got basic instructions here everything you should need I'll go over that and um, this I really suggest you read this before even taking the power cap out the box because it's really useful you can get started without it but it's really good idea I really recommend you read this before you start using the cab because I had some trouble I'm very glad I read this beforehand I still had some trouble but anyway wait we'll just put that to one side because we don't need that at the moment and I'll just head under the board and I'll show you how you connect it all up See you in a minute. hello everyone okay now one of the first things you need to do I forgot to tell you obviously I said before, I'm not sure if I said before but need to screw that down to the board and once you've done that well, you need to get the this cable here you could the, the box does come with two cables there's a coil cable and there's this cable you have to use this cable for the power cab you don't it's not optional you can't use the coiled cable because there's less connectors in it so it won't actually work what you need to do is get one end of this cable there's a little socket in the back of the power cab you just push it in there this little clip thing at the top just push it in, it should go click. That should be secure, shouldn't come out. You need to get the other end of the cable, and I can find it, it's dropped on the floor. There you go. I'll just get the camera up. So you go over here and you need to plug it in to the well. I've marked the port. No, oh, there was a little bit of tape there, but it seems to have disappeared. But if you look from this way, no, I can't do that, I'm getting the right way. With the LED at the top, you need to plug it into the right hand port. Just plug that in there, same sort of way, push it in, it should click. And then that's sorted. That's now all the connections above the board. And I'm going to head below the board and I'll show you all the connections you need to do below. See you in a sec. Hello everyone, and I'm back and we're under the board this time. Now, what I've got here, this is the power cab connector panel. This is where all the connections happen between the power cab and the track. It's the thing we saw up top with the black plate on it. Um, what you've got here is you've got the three connectors. This here is the track connector. And you have um, the like, loco net connector, I think that's what it's called. And then there's the power supply. So first thing we're gonna do, that uh, you should always do, is um, connect the track. This little green clip here, this is what should have been in the box, but I already connected it in, so left it out of the box. Um, all it is, you just have these two pins at this side, it's just got like terminal blocks on the back and two screws in the top, you just tighten down the wires I make sure there's no frayed wires, I mean it's a single core wire so it doesn't apply to me um, but anyway you make sure there's no frayed wires, no short circuits or anything because the power cab won't start up if there are any short circuits what you then need to do is you just need to get this it's connected once the wires are connected you just push it in this socket there and it should you'll hear like a little click as it goes in and then once you've done that you need to get the power supply which is this here first thing first is you just get the the adapter I'm gonna plug that into there one side now just get the power supply in this is the circular end that just needs to be I'll secure the camera this time need to push it into the connector just sit firmly shouldn't be any metal really exposed from the power supply and then once that's in you just plug it in just plug it with the power supply into any power strip or essentially whatever you want to call it plug it in the power cab should fire up I'll just go up top so we can watch the power cab firing up be right back
Okay, everyone. So the power cab has started up, and we now have the, the basic home screen. Um, at the top, you've got LOC, which stands for Loco, and then you've got the translator address, because this is the first time it's been turned on, is 0003, default. And you've then got the direction of the current selected logo and its speed. And the next that you've got the fast clock. Underneath that, those dashed lines are for the functions. Tell you which functions are on, which functions are off. Okay, so um, I currently don't actually have a loco 3 on the layout. Um, loco, you can see in short, is actually loco 66, which is a class 66. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do it. So first thing you do is press this button here. Select Loco, and that brings up the screen here. It just says Enter Loco, and because it's a number is 66, I'm going to press six twice. You don't have to put you don't have to put zero, just 66 will do. Then I hit Enter. There we go. Selected. Now, because this Loco has a headlight, I can press the headlight button, and it doesn't actually have a bell. But if I press the bell button. Cab light turn on because that activates function one. Okay, so that's all started up now. So what I'm going to do I'm just going to roll this thumb wheel forward and the loco will move forward. There we go. And then roll it down again. Stop it. Press the direction button to change the direction. And roll it up again to make it go the other way. And again to stop. I can also use these buttons here, the increase fast button, decrease, and then just increase and decrease. Increase fast put, adds 10 speed steps, and gets yeah, so the increase just does it one at a time. Yeah, th um, thank you very much for watching. That is the very basic tutorial, um, setup tutorial and review of the NCE Power Cap. Um, I may be doing a couple more videos like this in the future. If I get some new accessories, I will do it. Anyway, Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. CCLR Guy 2012 out.